Julie is getting started on the shower. While I was putting up the uh, rack, she was uh, putting tape. Caulk. And she's getting ready to caulk all the seams. She's going to do the vertical ones first. Yeah, like I'm drawing. And then uh, do it around the floor tomorrow. Yeah. So, got to get this stuff ready. It's not going to be long. We're going to have to move in. All right, we're getting ready to put the caulk in the shower. And this is 100% silicone. Uh, this is the color of the grout, which is bone. Mm -hmm. uh, this should be some really good stuff. We got it when we got the grout, so it would match up. But it is 100% silicone. To start up in this corner, work our way down with the silicone. Maybe. Got to get in the groove. Okay, this is the tool that we're going to be using to kind of smooth out the caulk. And this thing here is kind of rubbery. I've already opened it up. Yeah. Go ahead, Jewel, open it up. This one smears it on pretty easily. This one is to remove old caulk. So it's, it's kind of like a kit. Yeah. It's yeah, it's pretty nice. So let's we'll see how you're going to do this, Jewel. Yeah. So that's why I taped it so we can kind of do this without getting it all over the walls. And hopefully, it, it all over yeah, walls. hopefully you can do this um, and it turns out nice. But just take the tool and put it right up in the corner and just run your tip down. I mean, it does seem like you waste a lot of caulk, as you can see. Like, what do you do with all that now? I guess you throw it away. It's a lot. But, just keep some paper towels handy to wipe, wipe your tool off. And then I think I can get down now. And then just start back in the corner. take out a lot of the caulk that you just put in there but what choice do you have right you have to do it I'm gonna start up start at the floor and go up from here because that's kind of hard once you get down to the bottom there and then just that looks pretty good. Pretty much it, yeah. I mean, looks good. Mm. One thing about it, when you start and restop, that's when it yeah, hurts. Yeah, that's when you mess it up, and it doesn't. You know, you try to start it, and now when will you now take you it? You can take your finger. You know, obviously, you don't have to have any fancy tools. You can just use your finger to do it too. If Julie but, used her finger, it's too small. It takes yeah. all of it out. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, that. I'm going to take the tape off now because we don't want it to dry. Because when you go to pull the tape off, if you let the caulk dry, then it's going to, you know, pull. It might pull it out. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape um, before the caulk has time.
time to dry and set up. And I'm just kind of pulling it away from, from there. And you don't even have to tape it if you don't want to, but like I said, you get a little bit of a neater caulk line if you do. Just pulling at an angle away from the caulk. There we go, it's that easy. So we're just gonna finish this up, the corners, and then I'm gonna let this dry real good overnight, and then tomorrow I'll come in and I'll tape off around the bottom and get that uh, sealed. Yeah, just pull away. Now I noticed your caulk seam isn't any bigger than your grout seam. Well, that's what I tried. Um, yeah, I tried to make it about the same width as our grout lines here. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's going to be staring at it. So, we'll get you back here after I get all the seams done. Show you what it looks like. Okay, well, as you can see, we got all the caulking done. Everything's done in the shower. Um, so the only thing we need to do is, um, once our, we get our water turned on, we just need to check our um, faucets for leaks. And then um, other than that, it's ready to go. We got all the grout sealed and turned out pretty nice. We're pretty happy with it. Especially for the first time, you know, laying tile. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job. I think so too. Yeah. And then this is the mirror that we were building in the garage the other day. Um, couldn't find anything to match our sink. Um, so I saw this mirror frame in the store and I showed it to Kevin and he thought that he could build it. Um, and I think it turned out really nice. We just painted it, bought some paint, tried to match it up with the sink, and I think it turned out pretty nice. I want to show you what, what else came today. So, we finally got our cabinets. And uh, this is uh, what they look like. They're black whiskey cherry. They should go pretty good with the floor, I yeah. think. Because we're going to have black walnut, and this walnut's got a little bit of a reddish texture. I, I know people think cherry uh, is kind of old fashioned and out of style, but I think they're a classic color, and um, I like them. I don't, I don't care what's in style or what other people like. We do what we want and what we like, so if that's what you like, then go for it. So, we have our work cut out for us, and uh, I'm kind of in the middle of doing something too. I thought these cabinets ended up coming earlier. I thought for sure I had a little bit more time, but I've been working on the radiant heat, and uh, that's been a job. But I think we did a pretty simple system. People can follow along and do the same system pretty easily. But I did want to just show you guys something that I didn't get on video and I'm going to show you what it is. Up in the attic, uh, y'all remember uh, we had some sweat on the screws. Remember we had a little bit of moisture on them screws and uh, I said I'm going to fix that because I'm going to insulate up there. So. I had done put the insulation in, so I might as well show you guys what it looks like. Now, if you remember the foam board that we used underneath of the concrete, we had some left over. And I have a couple handles on there. You can see a handle there. And then a handle right there. So, let me see if I can get up there and move that around for you. So, how that works is you just climb up the ladder. You take your phone, push it up, 
and then push it back. You slide it back out of the way. Then you can come up and turn your light on. And I'll show you what a, this foam board is about four inches thick. I doubled up the foam board and I built a track all the way around there, which I'm gonna get some weather stripping and put on this, some of that foam weather stripping, and hopefully that'll help seal that up too. So then when you're ready to put it back, just grab your handle, line it up, bring it over, put it right down in the slot. Let me turn this light up. It's not so easy doing it with the camera in your hand. Bring it across, there's a slot over here, slide it in there. Pull your handles down, and voila, we have insulation. I don't know what the R value of that would be, but it should hold those, should hold enough heat in uh, to keep those screws from sweating. I didn't like that, but now it's fixed. And that was just scrap insulation, foam board. So we'll go ahead and put this back up. So we got that done. And like I said, I'm working on this system here. It's almost done. And I'm making a video on it by itself. But we have been tidying it up a lot. Uh, there's not much more to go. We still haven't got the uh, black walnut off the sawmill, but it's coming. It just taking us time, that's all. So, that's a little update on uh, what's going on here at the Rusty Rooster Homestead. I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.